tell me that doesn't look proper with the pepper mayo. And then we'll talk about how my tires got slashed. <laughs> Great. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. So today is a super simple sandwich toss together. I just have one baguette left out of these two baguettes. I pulled it from the freezer. I'm gonna make half one style of bacon sandwich and half just like a regular BLT. I'm craving a little variety, but yeah, I got some bacon here that's already kind of been used. We're using up a few things in the fridge. This tomato's about to go. It's getting a little squishy. Got an onion on the go, you know. Easy toss together, just some ideas. Nothing too crazy in this one. Let's just enjoy the cooking sounds and aspects. And then I'll talk to you when we eat. There's a ghost in my house. I'll talk to you when we eat. Alright, what up was good with y'all? I feel like Wilson in tool time, not that's not show home improvement. Uh his that's a show in a show, that's very meta. But anyways, that's what I feel like right now. I feel like the sandwich Wilson creeping at you beyond my sandwich fence. Um 
This sandwich down here, I have never made or eaten before, but uh, it's just the thought I was having. Uh, to my right here, you're gonna see a little Slimer beverage. This is the Dollar Drink Days from the Circle K. It's the, a dollar for a giant large crushed ice soda. And this lately has been my summer mix, but I'll explain that and we'll get this out of the way and we'll eat some sandwiches here. So I'm just gonna put this off to the side because I need all the Guy Fieri getting room possible. I want to get to this like thinner bacon, onion, cheese, pickled jalapeno, lettuce, red onion, sando first, just because, you know, the cheese is a little melty, a little hot. And my plan was to always do drizzle, do per bite drizzles with the sauce. In the video, you're probably like, what the hell? That's not a lot. Of, that's not enough sauce. And you're right. It's not. It was just for a little bit of ad <coughs> adhesive. For the crispy onions. <laughs> I bet there's people in the audience who are like. If he puts crispy on his. Oh, one more goddamn thing. I'm unsubscribing. And this is a, just like a little honey mustard sauce, but it's actually like a honey garlic honey mustard because I had a bottle of honey garlic sauce. Really good. These buns are amazing. I bought it for wings. And I had never tried the brand before. But it looks fairly legit. So I gave it a go. And not my favorite. It has a very... The garlic... There's like a... How do I say it? Like a burnt garlic... Or very harsh, sharp, like burnt umami, too garlicky type taste. And I don't have any honey on hand because honestly, honey's probably coming like off my grocery list because <laughs> it's ridiculous. For a bottle that's like. I don't know. Maybe like 325 mils. It's like $11. It's just absolutely insane. So honey is a crazy, I don't know. It's like a splurge for me sometimes. <laughs> when I'm gonna buy it, I'm like, does this recipe really need the honey? <laughs> Do I really need this honey? Yeah, this is good. It's very balanced. Sweet, salty, spicy. And rich. Exactly what I was looking for. And I like how it's you know, a bit thinner. Manageable. Sandwich and the acidity and heat from pick the pickle jalapenos. Real nice. I'm gonna finish it later, but I really do want to get to a dirty, juicy bite of this BLT. Cause come on, tell me that doesn't look proper with the pepper mayo. 
And then we'll talk about how my tires got slashed. <laughs> Great. Mm. <laughs> no matter what you try to do on other sandwiches, a BLT. Mm. Nice, juicy, and saucy. Just cannot be beat. Come on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is uh, leaps and bounds over the other sandwich. <laughs> And it's all because tomato and mayo, especially, is the magical combo. Pardon me. All right, I'm not trying to bring the neggy vibes, but I'm just telling you the raw, honest truth of what happened or what's been happening. Um, my neighborhood, my neighbors, and many people around were, we were all victims of senseless um, vandalization and, you know, mischief to, pro to property. Windows got broken, tires got slashed. Something like upwards of like 15 different houses got hit. Um, my tire got slashed. My neighbors did. It's just like... You know... <laughs> something you can't control is out of your hands. But the inconvenience financially is insane. I'm basically fucked. Um... <laughs> just to be raw and straight straight with you, just because I had that shit happen with my truck not even like a week ago, and I, I squeezed out of that one pretty okay. I was I really lucked out, and then not even within a few days later, it's like tire slash, and then the thing, the thing about a tire slash is that once you take out a tire, it's like taking out, at the minimum, it's like taking out both, or all, all four, but at the minimum, it's taking out two because unless you find a perfect matching tire equal to the one that you had, if you lock out and get the same tire, it's still not going to have the same amount of wear on the tread, but some places will shave it down to almost match the other ones but it messes with your alignment your computerized systems get confused it's just all around not good because your tires are basically out of whack out of balance um there's just no like cohesion right And ultimately, it can cause worse problems down the road, literally and figuratively speaking. So, generally, at the bare minimum, you got to fix two. Mine was on the front left, so I would probably have to get two new ones. The new rubber is supposed to go in the back, and then you pivot the old ones forward. You know, and for a day, for a day, I was, I was tripping on, like, did somebody do this to me? Uh, this is before I knew any other information about my, my neighborhood, but it's like, was this purposeful? Like, you, you know, you never know. Or just random. But it was just random. Uh, we, we, we would find out, but, you know, 
God, it's such a bummer. Just such another hurdle and something to figure out. And One more hoop to jump through when life's already hard enough. When things start to stack on you, it's like... You just want to know, like, what is this ever? Is this gonna let up soon? Like, am I Job from the Bible? Am I being torn down to absolute nothing? Questions you begin to ask yourself, but then in this case, other people got. Unnecessary shit done to them, so we're all in the in the boat together. We're all partying together, but it just sucks, man. I was just so pissed off, annoyed, like I know this person probably has not a great life. And is angry at the world and you know got drunk or drunk and high like all fucked up likely a homeless person maybe or you know transient individual right saying basically saying their fuck you to people who aren't living like out on the streets and don't aren't in those don't have those issues or whatever like Probably just a generalized fuck you for having anything. Like, fuck you for having a place to lay your head tonight. Would be my guess. That or... <laughs> just some people who are straight up... Ice in their vein, asshole type humans who just... They enjoy, they get a thrill off that, right? They like causing pain and trauma in other people's lives. Like, they know that people are going to wake up in the morning and their life's going to be worse off because of their actions. And they get, like, a high from that, right? Really shitty, really unfortunate. And it's put me in a bad spot. You know, many different ways. Mentally, financially, spiritually. Having transitally. <laughs> this thing got real juicy, real sloppy. And I lied. I may not eat that. I'm, I'm getting, I'm full, I'm full. And if you don't believe, I put up a short of the slash in my tire, just being like, fuck this, like. It's like I can't believe this shit happened kind of thing. But I guess we just keep on keeping on. And keep making do and figuring out the next move day to day. Is really, I guess, what, what, what we can all we can really do, right? Day by day, see what happens and figure it out. That's what life feels like lately. Is just like every day is just another day of solving problematic things that take brain power and physical power and like emotional power 
and you just have to keep wading through those things every single day and then you die real weird <laughs> getting tiresome my battery she's low <laughs> but that's what we all are little individualized batteries in a system buzzing around like bees making things go where we don't know what we're doing who the fuck knows what like what what's the human race doing what why are we what are we doing all this for can't we just homestead and like accept that we're not immortal and just live more conscientiously and more simply and just like be more easy like still do the hard work and stuff to like make things run but not to the point where we have penthouses and skyscrapers and Lamborghinis and all these things. Like, why couldn't it just be simpler and just accept that we're not gods and we're not immortal and that we don't need to fuse with technology or become overtaken by AI or any of those things? Like, we don't have to prove to God that we could become God, you know? We can just accept that our time is temporary and then just live... <laughs> a more simple style of life enjoy it more and then just pass on to the next adventure of, of like you know the next thing like why do we wear ourselves to the very bone for, for what i don't know very interesting just my thoughts <laughs> no i know lots of people think like this ranting at the end philosophizing and st stressed you can live well, stay true. Okay, peace. <laughs> if you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching. Eat good, live well, and stay true.